Hello everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the train room. So we're going to talk about a few different things today. First, obviously the elephant in the room. I have torn down my layout. So, um, you know, as it kept expanding, I didn't have the exact track design I wanted. I don't want both my loops, my straights on the outside and uh, experimented with foam a lot and got really good at it. So I liked my later work than the earlier work. So being my first O scale layout I had started on, uh, I've decided that I wanted to change it. And I don't know that I will go all O on a new one or not. Um, so I've gotten into so many different scales of trains that the options are endless. So I will be going to York. Uh, so hopefully I'll be meeting a lot of you there uh, in person. I know a lot of us talk all the time over Facebook uh, or over the phone that I've never met. So hopefully uh, you'll come see Christian and I. So you're probably wondering what is all this stuff on the table here uh, since the layout's gone. So as you all know, I've decided to reduce a lot of my O scale collection. And I started with some C and O and some seaboard and Atlantic coastline and things I just didn't have a whole bunch of uh, different models in. And um, now I'm getting into uh, Pennsylvania, some New York Central, uh, and some other stuff. So I've created a new list and I know a lot of people keep asking me uh, when's it going to come? When's it going to come? So first of all, here's a way to contact me for those of you that don't have Facebook. My number is right there on the card. Then, um, here's my list that I have. So this is the list from 2024. Some of the stuff is already sold, even though uh, I just started this on September 1st. Uh, obviously, the Blue Goose set already sold. Uh, Milwaukee Road Hiawatha set with eight passenger cars sold already. So that's not on here. That was on my other list. Um, I can't remember the other things. But I scrapped the standard gauge, so I'm going to hold on to that for right now. So I... Uh, I took all standard gauge off the list. So there's the first list. Then here is the second 2024 list. And I'll be making another one for next weekend that might have some Santa Fe, Southern Pacific, some of my Western railroads on it. So this has like some Halloween and Area 51 stuff, the alien stuff on it. Uh, the big Lionel auto racks, I just never opened them and used them. So, uh, selling all my auto racks that I have there. Then, this is what's left of last year's list. Not a whole lot, as you can see. But there's a few little things on there. If you're interested, let me know. Then I'll pause and go to this list. So that's the other one of stuff that's left from last year. And I sold my last Norfolk Southern Executive train for 4000 last year. I went ahead and unfroze it because I'm thinking of selling. If I can get 4000 for the one set I have left and it's the complete set, everything off of uh, um, 2019 volume 2 page 52 and 53 so it's like ABBA and 13 passenger cars um, I may be open to selling it if I can get the 4,000 for it otherwise I'll just hold on to it so let's take a list uh, or look I should say it's some of the things we have here so I do have the K-Line Northern Pacific AAs with, uh, and these are all shrink wrap, still brand new, uh, with the 
uh, six 21 inch cars and a reefer that matches all like C10 of course uh, the the engines are C9 they've been test run uh, and that's 1200 and here's all the area 51 stuff I mean we have the radar car radioactive waste car um, hovering UFO car the locomotive that's conventional with just horn uh, single dome tank car alien suspension car and area 51 the other suspension car one of the suspension cars is great the other one fell off my workbench and has a little ding in the, the roof and then needs the couplers replaced so i have that like dirt cheap that's like a hundred dollar car i have it at 30 bucks um and i can show you pictures of that then these are cars out of the set that are in random boxes so the groom lake box car the work caboose with searchlight so if you're if you have the menard ufo set up that's why i bought them i have both menard ufos and um i'm i don't think i'm gonna do a halloween layout this year so i'm considering selling these there's taking up room then next i have three really cool these aren't these don't belong to me um these are my friend john's and i had bought these to go with another set but the colors are reversed like my set um is dark gray stripe and our dark gray outside and light gray stripe so um i didn't hold on to these and john i've had them here a while and i told him i try to sell them for him i will say this i can't remember which one of the cars they're all in really good shape but i can't remember which one of the cars when you put it on the track i think it has a problem in the lighting because it trips the transformer or there's something else going on with it um i never really ran these i put two of the cars on with a vision line uh, um, baggage car and a few other mixed consist ones to make a video for someone interested in buying the vision line stuff and that's it and that's when I found out one of the cars triggers the light or triggers the breaker in the Z4000 uh, Lackawanna Caboose already sold um, these are all the PRR NC5 style cabooses that are on the list. So you have the red one that is the Philadelphia region. You have the Pittsburgh region. You have the buy war bonds, which pretty popular. Anything that says buy war bonds typically sells fast. Someone already bought my buy war bonds hoppers. Um, then Denver Rio Grande caboose. Illinois Central Caboose. And another Illinois Central Caboose. Someone came and bought my Illinois Central Atlas locomotive and some uh, Lionel cars with it two weeks ago. Um, then Frisco Diecast Hoppers. These are C10, brand new in box. Four different road numbers. I like the color of them, but I don't have anything Frisco left. So those are for sale. Um, this is a brand new inbox. Uh, the, the Halloween locomotive. This doesn't belong to me. This belongs to a friend. I'm selling it for him. Um, this is on the sheet. Then these are mint inbox uh, auto carriers. The Lionel giant ones. All of these I've never had out on the track and run. Um, so I'm asking 125 each, 250 for the two sets. So, you know, I figured these are hard to find and I looked up pricing and that's one thing I'll add on my prices. I am beating existing prices out there and I'm beating average price sold on a majority of stuff other than if it's something I had a whole lot of money in, um, and then I'll put my price on it. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. But I'm not going to lose my butt on anything. Um, this is a really good deal for someone looking for an affordable Challenger. Because I am selling it with the 
uh, extra tender. And what did I have on this? I think, uh, was it like 950 TMCC, very detailed. And it includes the, the extra tender for 950. I mean, people are selling this engine for 900 to uh, 1100 on my searches. And there's no scratches or flaws on it. That's the box for it. Then I have a Williams GG1. Tried to sell this last year. I guess there's just not a lot of people that run Williams that have 072 track. Um, so that's like dirt cheap, 195 bucks, I think. Um, both those hopper sets are already sold. H3 consolidated. I had that for sale last year. It didn't sell. That's a PS2 3 volt. And I, I dropped the price on it this year. Um, what am I at on the H3 consolidated? Like 375. Then both of these third rail high iron locomotives. Like I said, I'm getting rid of Pennsylvania. There's only going to be three Pennsylvania things I have left as far as locomotives go uh, by the time I'm done. Someone already came and bought my M1, both my T1s, uh, Q2s. Uh, man, they, uh, it was crazy. Um, my friend, I figure since my friend Tom is so big into Pennsylvania and he's a member of the club and we hang out quite a bit, if I want to see Pennsylvania, I can just watch his collection. So... Uh, one is a, a post-war, and then one is the uh, pre-war, and you can see their front ends are different. So that is the post-war version, and this is the pre-war version. And these were the ones that when I first bought them, I was the first one to ever run them. And um, one worked fine with how everything was with the placement of the antenna for TMCC and the other one had an attitude. So I just extended the wire like a lot of people recommended that had these that had the same issue. And now everything is good. Both of them run fine. And I already replaced the traction tires on these. So they are flawless and I have those listed at 725 each. Uh, this already sold and that S2 already sold. Now this is an interesting one. This one is another one that doesn't belong to me. This belongs to my friend Mike and somehow he had a two rail version and I converted it back to three rail or two three rail and it runs good but on my inclines I couldn't pull four passenger cars because it would uh, spin because there's no traction tires. So this one, because it is a, a two rail originally and it's converted to three rail, um, I think I have that like, uh, yeah, 575. So next, uh, the ever popular and hey, I would like to give people a break on the price of these, but I just can't. Lionel has totally killed the market as far as decent price on Woodside passenger cars. Um, I have all seven Pennsylvania Woodside passenger cars. Uh, you know, so it's two, three car sets, and then there's the add-on right there. So I'm selling the two, three car sets and the add-on for 750 uh, and then this is the locomotive that was delivered in 2022 I displayed it and I love these things I'm not going to kid you this is one of the hardest decisions but I bought the B&O uh, Royal Blue first and then I bought the Pennsylvania and the New York Central which I'm also selling both of them I ordered from Switch Stand, and they both came in in 2022, uh, February. And, um, you know, I thought they were going to look a little different. I mean, they're all three beautiful. But I thought they were going to look a little different than, like, as far as the color boilers, than my B&O that I have up here. So, 
the fact that they all have the grayish blue boiler, there's just not enough difference for me to have that kind of money wrapped up in them. Um, so I'm selling this one for 800 and it was 899 new. And these still hold their value really well. That's PS3. And that doesn't even have 15 minutes of runtime on it. I run the B and O one a lot because it has the blue passenger cars and it's my favorite. Um, and then I, I just found the passenger cars for the Leviathan. So I decided I can part with this one. And then I'm also parting with uh, the Empire State Express 999. And that's PS3. That might have 10 minutes of runtime on it. I think test run only. Um, just that's where I'm whole, I'm that's sort of how I'm going about things. If I have purchased stuff and all I've done is test run it and I've you know I've had stuff for seven years that I've never even gotten out of the boxes, and I'm like, that's just silly. That's a waste of money. So um, the collector in me is sort of gone. Now I'm like, okay, if I'm not going to run it, I'm not going to keep it. So um, that has all seven Woodside passenger cars. So 800, and these are all like new in box too. So uh, I want 800 for the locomotive and 850 for the passenger cars. Go on eBay and search history of what these things are selling for and you'll see why. Again, don't blame me. You can blame Lionel for that one. Um, I had to pay a pretty price to get um, these engines and all the passenger cars. If it was less, I would sell it less. I just try to get my money back out of what I can. Okay. Another engine that is a great deal. This one is my friend Mike's. And... Um, brand new i'm the only one that's test run it and that one i believe what well, he's down to like 975 for pennsylvania heavy pacific and it has the uh real-time cooling whistle where the smoke comes out of the whistle and that's that model Someone was interested on this last time I put this on a list on YouTube and he does not have uh, uh, Facebook. So if you watch this video, again, here's how you can contact me right there. All right. So this is a really cool set. MTH Premier PS3 specialty set. This is flawless. I mean, if you look at my list, almost everything is C8, C9, C10. And there's only a couple things because I don't buy stuff that has damage and I don't damage stuff. So I, I treat my stuff really well and I don't like scratches and chips. I mean, there's stuff I've bought that have had a scratch or chip that, you know, someone told me it didn't. It shows up and it did. And I either will send it back to them uh and and you know or want uh adjustment in price or something and i used to buy stuff on ebay and i don't really buy stuff on ebay no more just because it's too too sketchy so um anyway there's no scratches no flaws and that's the 2104 war bonds specialty freight set and you've seen the hoppers several times because i used to run the hoppers quite a bit um then Here's another Pennsylvania specialty set, locomotive. Man, I've run this locomotive probably twice. I think maybe once in a YouTube video. Um, and this comes with the express reefer and three passenger cars, like two coaches and an observation. And this is PS2 three volt. So it does have a BCR in it and it is flawless. There's no scratches chips anything like that um then the y3 freight set sorry everyone uh someone already bought this that was the ps3 y3 freight set with five hoppers and a caboose uh from 2015 then i did reduce the price on this jersey central set uh engine is test run station sounds diner 
is tested and you can see everything else has the wire ties on it and has never been used. The same for the four cars in the box. So this is TMCC with Odyssey and it has fan driven smoke unit. Um, the smoke units in these weren't super good. I'd maybe get it upgraded uh, if I were to keep this because it doesn't smoke very good. But then I only tested it for like five minutes uh, just to make sure that the sound and that it ran more than anything. So maybe, uh, and I might not put enough smoke fluid uh, just because I didn't want, it's not something that I would run all the time. And um, it's more of, I, I bought it because it's in my uh, New York Central Finest Robert West portrait. So um, this is a two car add on. And what am I down to on this one? I know the diner itself is $350 to $400. And um, Blue Comet set, I've got it at $1450. So um, that's basically like $800 for the main set. Then I figured around $400 for the diner and $200 for the uh 250 for the add-on set so hopefully someone really wants this set i know you could order an mth which i did and that's why i'm selling this one although it won't be cab 831 which i'm sort of disappointed about all right um next i reduced the price on this also last year i was selling it for um 2500 and I've got it, I think, down to... Let's take a look. What did I bring it down to? I can't remember. Maybe $2,000? Um, yeah, I brought it down to 2000 And, you know, that's really fair price. Uh, the engine is like C8. So pretty flawless, like I don't want to say pretty flawless. It doesn't have any scratches or anything. Everything works as should. Now, one of the cars that came in the box with the set, there's going to be some paint that flaked off a tiny line that goes right here on one of the cars. And then uh, the car that has the antennas on it, it's missing one stanchion. And I bought some brass that I thought was going to be the right size and it's a little too skinny so I, I never made it back to buy another piece of the uh, brass so I could just cut a new piece of stanchion and put it in um, so it's no big deal to fix that that's the easy thing it's living with the one little scratch it has our paint flake whatever in the car uh, these two cars are perfect this is a two car add-on and then this is the Station Sounds Diner, and they made a couple different 21-inch car Empire State Express sets, and these are the correct ones that would have been the add-on for the steam engine. So I believe like a couple years later, they made it where you run a couple E8s or something, and uh, there's different uh, name 21-inch Empire Express cars that go with that. So there was a four car set, a two car set, and another station sounds. All right, this one, I tried to sell the engine separately because I was gonna use my Weaver um, uh, engine and then Raphael bought my Weaver engine and some of my Weaver cars. So I have a lot of money in this set. Um, I actually had the receipt to it so you can see uh, like 2351 uh, wrapped up in the set. And I know the cars are highly sought after for the two guys that bought the two 1010 um, So the cars, I mean, if we go by Lionel current value, you know, you have six, six cars. There isn't a seventh car because the Station Sounds Diner comes in the set. So... Um, anyway, um, I came up with pricing on this of basically 
for the six cars, you know, with the Station Sounds Diner, you'd be around 1100 So I have it priced to sell as an entire set at um, $1,875 with the locomotive and the two-car add-on. I had this set out running once, once, and I made a YouTube video of it. So, um, the Santa Fe Flyer set, 1875. Figure if you're a guy that's looking for the cars to go with uh, your your Santa Fe Flyer 21010, then you know you'll you'd have like 750, 775 in the locomotive or something, uh, and you could easily sell that locomotive for a thousand. Or take out the electronics and put it in something else that you have. But um, it is a legacy locomotive with Bluetooth. Um, locomotive's flawless. And all the cars are flawless. Um, you know, one run. And I'm losing my butt on this set. All right. So next. Uh, I bought these unrun. All three of these. So, uh, when I, and I bought them all at different times. Um, this one is flawless, just has a little bit of stuff in the casting, but it, the paint's not flaking off or anything. You know, these earlier, like Lionel engines, the castings weren't always the greatest. Still, sometimes you get flaws in castings, but, um, you know, I'm asking 350. Then 350 for the Chessie Seam Special. This one, again, flawless. I've run it a couple times now. Uh, still actually has the little thing for the smokestack that goes in there um, that it came with from the factory for shipping. And then the New York Central um, Gray 785 Hudson. Uh, it's 325. So these two are 350 conventional control. All three have the mighty sounds of steam and There's the model on the New York Central Okay, I sold my gold Hudson if you look at my list I sold my gold Hudson with caboose last year for 800 bucks and I was gonna hold on to the gold passenger cars to run with a different engine um, but I don't know. I didn't, I haven't used them, but only two times on a Christmas layout. These are the MTH two car and five car set. And I don't remember the price, but it's on the sheet. But these are, you know, for the gold, they're really good shape. Cause obviously um, sometimes there's some weird stuff on the gold plated stuff, uh, like little, pitting or stuff like that that goes on um but these are in really good shape then this is the batman dc comics train i don't have the track for it this is a subway set so this is one of the coolest like paint jobs if you're a batman or uh you know fan of um comics and stuff dc comics you know i mean here's two-face car and the, you know they're in bubble wrap so you can't see them really good and the scarecrow car then this has the batman and it makes batman announcements i had to replace the board in this actually switch stand replaced the board for me um you know and there's the joker and harley quinn so really good detail and this two car set's so hard to find. Um, it took me a long time to find a two car set after finding the three. And all my kids are grown or gone. I could keep or sell this. If I get my money back out of it, then I'll sell it. If not, then it'll just stay. Then the zombie apocalypse train. Um, that's a lion chief. And it makes like zombie announcements and sirens and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's it ran on my Halloween layout for a couple years, and I just have so many Halloween trains. I'm not running like five loops anymore. Like on, if you look back on some of my older videos, they would have five loops of track going. Um, 
and uh, you know that was a lot of action but I don't have that layout anymore and so now my, my layout's been smaller with just a couple trains and I'm not gonna keep stuff that I don't use very much as I've said before all right so that's an update on stuff for sale oh New York Central 060 PS3 that's it right there that's for sale 550 um, I still don't have a lot of space on my shelves uh, yeah the only thing that was over here was my vision line and I sold this to a friend for 1500 bucks so I paid a lot more for it than that but um, makes my friend happy and uh, I, I don't mind doing that so I think that's it for this list I will make another list uh, for next weekend uh, these are mostly Eastern Railroad stuff and uh, then next week I'll probably have some Midwestern and then maybe some Santa Fe that I more San I only have one Santa Fe thing for sale today um, I might have some more Santa Fe and I'm sort of debating on what to do at Southern Pacific because everyone knows, uh, oh wait, back up. Well, I'll get to that. So everyone knows that uh, third rail announced you're not gonna make steamers anymore. So it may be a tough choice to part with some of these third rail steamers, uh, but I'm thinking about it. Then this is the other train that's for sale. Uh, actually both of these, the top one isn't on the list. It's 1300. It's the specialty set that came with PS2 3 volt and four passenger cars, CNW. Um, that engine's in good shape. That has some runtime on it. I've run that a little bit. So it's not a low runtime engine. Probably, you know, I think it, I don't even want to guess. I want to say it probably has 500 miles on it or something. Um, then this does have low runtime, but someone's negotiating with me right now on my third rail set that's on there. Uh, I got it listed for 5,000. And again, that's a really sought after set. I've only seen the engine come up for sale once on eBay and it was sold for over 2,000 by itself. I have all eight passenger cars that go with it. That's why passenger cars were 3,200 and the engine was like 1,800 plus tax and shipping. So I'm trying to at least get 5,000 back out of it. Um, that's everything I have for today. It's gonna to be interesting to see what I do for a build here. Um, thank you to everyone. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe you tore down your layout. Cause a lot of you are friends with me on Facebook. And thank you for all the compliments and the people that said I helped influence their layout build and the materials they used and gave them ideas. That's what this hobby is all about. And until then, I will see you all later.